Hey guys, Pete here out on the last day of beaver season, uh, March 31st. I usually don't trap this long, but I got called to take care of some nuisance beaver. So me and my friend, uh, Ron Martell, a really good friend of mine, who I met in the Idaho Trappers Association, uh, and I decided to come down and do this job. Um, just a quick plug for the Idaho Trappers Association. Um, I really encourage you, if you're not a member, to join. Uh, even if you're not from Idaho, join ITA because ITA spends thousands and thousands every year fighting in court um, to protect trapping rights. So, the uh, Idaho Trappers Association, a lot of people from surrounding states are a member, so I encourage you to, to join. You get a free magazine and um, you get a discount on the commission at the first sale that we have. So, it's, it's worth joining. Anyway. Uh, we've caught several beaver down here, but believe it or not, we've caught three in this set right here. And I call this my drive-by beaver set. So when I'm trapping a stretch of creek for muskrat or mink, even if there's no beaver sign, I put this set in, in case a beaver comes through. And and if, if Lily, my niece Lily's filming, if she could take the camera and, and go over to those trees that are down over there, So those those willow trees are all cut down, but for cottonwoods, I guess they are. They willows are. I, I'm tired. Anyway, they um, I've got three leg holes over there, and the paths of beaver are coming up to chew on those. Haven't caught a single beaver over there yet. The lodge is down the creek this way, which means that the beaver are coming up here, headed to there, and they're seeing this, and they're going in and getting caught. Okay. I wish I would have done a video on a day that I had one in there, but like I said, we've caught three in there, all right? So all it is is, if you look right over here, you can see another spot where there's a game trail that comes out of the creek. And then back over here, it's also there's also a little game trail that comes out. But the other spot, that, that other game trail, that's it where deer are going. And there, there were beaver tracks in that mud too, but I didn't want to put it there because I didn't want the deer knocking my 330 over. So all I did was I came over here and I dug this out a little bit with my with my trapping hammer. I piled a whole bunch of mud up there, and then I put some some fresh aspen, some old uh, some old birch, um, and uh, a white birch and some fresh aspen, and then some willows. And I piled a lot of mud. I put some lure in there, and. And up until recently, I had a little willow stick wired to the to the conibear trigger as well. It came off the last beaver I caught, and I didn't put it back on, and I'm pulling it today since it's the end of the season. But uh, but anyway, like I said, I've caught three beaver. They just they see that white, they see that fresh wood, they see that those mud piles. There's a little lure in there too. They swim over, bam, conibear hits them. Uh, normally that conibear sits a little lower, the water level's gone down a little bit, which is odd for spring, which means we're not going to have a very good winter. But usually I have the, I like the water up to about the middle of the springs. And then I'll take my top stick and I'll bend it down kind of just to encourage them to go under. But like I said, three beaver in, a, in just over a week at this one set right here. And so... <clears throat> If there's beaver in the area, this works great. If there aren't, if there aren't beaver or you know permanent in the area, but you're trapping and and uh, something else, I always make one of these. I call it my drive-by beaver because the beaver's just trucking through for some reason, and then and that'll track him over, and you can hopefully catch him. Um, so that's just wanted to show that. Um, you got the camera up here on me. So um, last thing, uh, I just want to, um, I've been doing a lot of plugs for my book I just wrote. It's called Basco, The Adventures of Jesse Echeverry. It's about a trapper in Idaho who served in Afghanistan as a Navy corpsman with Marines and uh, prefers to live kind of the old way. It's full of trapping, hunting, gunfights, war stories, patriotism, family, um, values like faith and love, uh, faith in God. Um, there's love, there's death, there's good guys, there's bad guys, there's saints and sinners. Uh, it's a great book, I think. I've had really good reviews. If you don't know much about the Basque people, you'll learn a little bit about them. I'm Basque, and uh, Basque people are really proud of their heritage. Um, you'll learn a little bit about Basque people, but you don't have to be Basque to enjoy the book. I really appreciate it if you consider buying it. 
Um, you can buy it at my website, jpspill.com. I'll put the link in the comments. The reason I'm pushing this so hard, I'm not making a dime off this book. All the proceeds from this book are going to help build a nonprofit that my wife and I are building called Sacred Heart Ranch of Idaho. It's to help women, young women, 18 to 25, who have experienced trauma, including female veterans. One in three female veterans reports military sexual trauma. Um, I'll put the link for Sacred Heart Ranch in the comments as well. So by buying this book, you're helping us build this ranch and you're helping us change lives. So um, I appreciate it if you give give my book a look. It's got an ebook option or a printed book option, and in about a month or two, we'll have an audio book option. So give it a look. I appreciate the support. I appreciate you spreading the word about this book and about Sacred Heart Ranch. Especially if you enjoy my videos, please do that for me. Even if you don't buy the book, spread the word about the books, you know, and about Sacred Heart Ranch. It really help a lot. We, my wife and I have donated, have, are dedicating the rest of our lives to this ranch once we get it built until we're too old to run it anymore. We're both approaching 50. Um, and so we plan on doing it until we, we can't do it anymore and then we'll hand it off to someone else so it will continue. So please support that, especially if you like my videos, you watch my videos, I appreciate your help. Book's 20 bucks, you know, it's, it's a small a small donation, but it would help a lot. So with that, remember God is great, guns are good, freedom is precious. We'll see you next season.